Welcome to Funk Puzzles. My name is Ruben, and today we're going to be looking at a puzzle, which if you're watching on Twitch right now, if you're on YouTube, this will be the first time you saw it. If you're watching on Twitch, you have seen me attempt this now three times. I tried it for an hour one day, and I didn't get the answer. And then I was like, what went wrong? And that night in bed, I picked up my iPad, just laying in bed. And I try not to go on my iPad at night. I know it's bad for your eyes, bad for your brain, sleep, etc. But I just was getting bothered by it. And then all of a sudden, I figured it out in like 25 minutes, right? And when I figured it out, though, I did a little bit of guessing. Okay, so it's definitely a plug and play. I'll explain what plug and play is later for book 16. But it was, you know, I definitely had to do some guessing at a minimum. Um, and then the next day, I started streaming on Twitch. I'm like, well, we're going to figure out how I got that because I think I know the method. And all of a sudden I ended up screwing that up completely and I couldn't get it legitimately. And what I mean by legitimately is like logically with plug and play. Like when you guess, that's different. And you still get the puzzle, it works, but I don't consider that like a true win, at least for me. Um, these puzzles are supposed to be logic puzzles. We're supposed to be able to figure them out through the use of logic. And so, Again, today, I started this a little bit on my own before I went on stream because I was like, well, I can't have another disaster because if it gets crazy, I don't want people being like, boy, he's just wasting too much time on this. But I have found, I believe, the method. It is not that great of a method, but I believe it is the only method that you have to get this. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's get started. First of all, the rules of Kabuk 16, you have 16 cells, okay? So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, et cetera, et cetera, okay? You have to use the numbers one through 16 at least once, okay? Um, you have to use all of them at least once. So of course, if there's 16 numbers, 16 cells, you can only use each one once. There's gonna be no worries of duplication, et cetera, et cetera, that you have to worry about with Sudoku. Um, and then the only other room is that you see this number right here? Well, this number, this column has to sum to that number. So this column, these four numbers have to sum to 27. These four have to sum to 40. These four have to sum to 25. And these four to 44. And same thing with the row, 38, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, those are the only rules that we have. And so when I look at these, the first things I like to do is I like to say, okay, well, what am I going to do with the big ones? And this one's really easy to do that. But the first thing we're actually going to do, sorry, is that we are going to go ahead and get our new totals because this 28 actually isn't a 28 because we have the 12. So I don't want to always add it on. So I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to put 28 down here. I'm going to erase this 27 and this is 17. Uh, is that, sorry, yeah, 27, 17, sorry. I'm gonna erase this 25, and this is 12. And this 44 becomes 30. And I apologize if the, looks like I'm fussing with this iPad. My pen is not working great lately. 13, and 39 is 27, and 38 is 27, okay. So the first thing we do is let's go through and we'll pick a different color and let's say, where are we gonna put 16? Well, notice that I can't put 16 here. And the reason I can't put 16 anywhere in here is because if I put another number with it, I have to have two other numbers. The smallest numbers are 1 and 2. So 16 plus 1 and 2 is 19. The total I need to get there is 17. It's too high. Notice that I can't put 15 there either. Okay. So 16 and 15 don't go there. We'll keep that mental note of that. 16 and 15 obviously don't go here. That's only 12. 16 and 15 obviously don't go here. So what we have, if we look at this, we know 16, 15 can go into 30, can go into 28, can go into 27, 27 for those. But what we just figured out right here is that 16 or 15, both those numbers must go in these cells right here. Okay? So that is a big piece of information for us in Kabuk 16. Um, now the next thing that we're looking at for this is, well, with the 16 and 15, how can we go further? Can I have 16 and 15? These are my only possibilities. Can I have 16 and 15? For instance, can I have them in the same row? So what do I mean by that? Can I have it here and here? No, I can't because that's only 27. Can I have in this column here and here? No, I can't because it's only 28. 16, 15 is 31. Can I have it here and here? No, I can't. It's only 30. 
So now we even have some more information. We know that the 1615 must be somehow this kind of opposite uh, thing here. So it's like it's either here or here, or it's here or here, or it's here and here, okay? So we know that right now. That's, that's great knowledge, okay? Um, what else do we know? Do we know anything else? Well, we know that we have this interesting 11, 12, 13, 14, right? So I know where 16, 15 is going, and 11, 12, 13, 14 is already out there. So that leaves me with just a 10 as my biggest number, okay, remaining. So this is, I got a lot of low numbers, and that's going to be very crucial as a puzzle later on. Okay, so maybe I could go ahead and look at where the 10 would go. That's what I thought initially. And if we do that, you know, because I was like, well, 10 is the next biggest number. Where can it go? Can 10 go anywhere in this row? Well, of course not, right? Because it's 12, I have to have a 1 and 2 with it, that's 13. Can 10 go in this row? Yes, it can. So 10 can go in all the other rows. So there's really not too much of a constraint on the 10. Other than that, it doesn't go in this row. So I am going to denote that, though. I'm going to denote that this row, I'm going to kind of point to it here, uh, does not equal 10. I'm going to point to it. Okay, there's no 10 in that row. I have a uh, equal and a, a little sign through it, okay? And then... Uh, now, let's start with the 16 and the 15. And one thing I noticed right off the bat, I figured this out on the first day. This is really, I thought it was creative. This 16 here, why did I have a 16 here? 15 can go up here possibly, right? Well, watch this. This is where both of these intersect at this cell. We're going to call this cell A, okay? And whenever you have that, you're going to have a problem whenever you have something like this. Look at these numbers here, 28 and 27. They're very close. This 28 is one bigger than this 27. 16 is one bigger than this 15, okay? So what we have here is that A plus, if I call this C, plus C is equal to 27. But A, A plus B is equal to 28, okay? Is this correct? Hope I'm not already making a mistake. It does feel like I'm making a mistake. Um, A plus C is equal to 27, A plus B. Uh, so if we minus these, one, B minus C equals one. Hmm. Boy, I need to, uh, uh, 44, Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I screwed this up. Okay, sorry. Sorry about that. I'm already making mistakes because I'm going so fast. Um, sorry. The mistake I made is I forgot to update my total. So now I have the, I had uh, 44 here. I minus the 12. It's, um, what is this? This is 40. Um, I minus this uh, 12. It's 28. And now I minus the 16. So now my new updated total is 12. Sorry. And so this is uh, 38 minus 11 is 27 minus is 15. This is 12. Okay. Sorry. That's what it is. So now what we have is uh, A plus C is equal to 12. And A plus B is equal to 12. And that's the problem there, right? Look at this. A plus C equals 12. A plus B equals 12. I have this down here in this corner here. Well, with that, what does that mean? Well, A and A, 12 and 12. C is equal to B. C must be equal to B. So if A plus C equals 12, then A plus B is equal to 12, then C equals B. But C cannot equal B because we cannot repeat the same number. Okay? So right away, I know the 16 and 15 cannot be that combo right there. Cannot be in the corners like that. Okay? So now I can say, what about... What about this? Here's another interesting one. What if I put 16 here and 15 here? Okay. Now I got to update my totals. So this one goes back to 27. And you know what I need to do? I need to cross these out, but make sure that I can still see them because obviously I need to reference them later. Did too much crossing here. Screw myself up. As I update totals, I will need to update other things um okay oops 
Uh, that's fine. No, it's not. Okay. So now this one is uh, 12, 15 is 27. So this is 12. And this one is 16, 15, 16, 12 is uh, 28. So this is still 12. Okay. Okay. So now we have this, right? We have, we have this here. And now look at this up at the top. This is really interesting, this 27 up here, okay? This 27 up here means that the only thing I can have in this row has to be a 10, a 9, a 8, a 10, a 9, an 8. But we know 10 can't go here. A 10, a 9, an 8, okay? But there's some issues with this, right? And the main issue is that now my next biggest number is seven. I mean, I, I literally have these monster numbers here. So let's go ahead and um, let's get rid of this. This would be down to 15. So nowhere in this puzzle can I use, I mean, my next biggest number, I've used 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I don't have anything else, okay? And so now this nine here, see this nine in this uh, row right here? What does the 9 make to get this 12 down at the bottom down here? Well, it's only going to have a 1 and a 2. What does this 8 use? Well, it's only going to use a 1 and a 3. Right? Can't do any other way to get that 12. Okay? So the max that this can be, this cell right here, is 3. But I need 12. And so if I have 9 here, I've already used 9. Right? I can't have 2 here. I've already used 10. I can't have 1 here. I've already used 11. So I have, with this combination of 10, 9, 8 at the top, and with these combinations of this low cell right here, I can never get this cell because all the big ones are used up on top. Okay, and that, of course, is problematic. Okay. I'm using the undo button instead of the erase button. Uh, okay. So that is problematic. Um, we're just going to get 15 on this now. Okay, so what we know then is that, um, uh, oops, I don't need to do that because I'm going to get rid of this now, is that the 16 cannot be there, okay? But perhaps the 16, then now we have to guess. So now we don't have anything, so we know 16 is there. Perhaps the 16 is here. And if 16 is here, it can't go here, right? It can't go there, but it could go here, okay? So... Let's go ahead and let's take a look at this. This is a very interesting one. And the reason I'm going to tell you that is because of the constraints that enter on this row. Okay, so this is uh, 15. Now uh, this is 11. And this is still 12. Okay, so look at this. I have, I have to get a 12 on the bottom. I have to get a, a 12 a 12, a 13, a 12, and 11. That just seems undoable. I mean, it's so many that are just so similar, okay? And so the, the way I looked at this is I started doing plug and play here because I couldn't find any way to eliminate anything necessarily, right? Like I was able to say, well, in this instance, I can't use uh, a 10 here, I can't use a 10 here, um, Actually, I can't use a 10 here. I can't use a 10 here, but I, that didn't really lead to anything. But then I thought, hey, wait a second. Look at this constraint here. This top row and this side row share this cell in the upper right-hand corner. I'm going to call that B. This is A and this is C. Now let's look at a little mathematics here. A plus B is equal to 12, or 11, sorry. B plus C is equal to 15. So B is equal to 15 minus C. And, it, and I'm going this way. And I'm going to come back up. And so A substituting plus 15 minus C is equal to 11. And I'm going to come all the way down to here. A, uh, I'm going to minus this stuff over to here, would be is equal to C minus four, okay? And so then we can just say um, 
c is equal to a plus 4. Okay? So that means that this c cell right here is 4 more than that cell. Okay? And so I'm not going to keep all this stuff down here, but I am going to put that little tidbit of information <coughs> for us. Okay? I'm going to put that little tidbit over here. So c... C is equal to A plus 4, okay? And now why do I want that? Well, because now if I if I make it something and I call it B, C, A, I make a little chart here, right? Now what, what B and C have to equal 15. So how do I get that? <clears throat> well, I have 7, 8. And if I have 7, 8, okay, and this is going to be called the reflexive of that because we can always change it. So then I have 7, 8, 7, I have 7, 8. Uh, if I have 8, 7, and B, C over here, then what's A? Well, A is 4 less than C, so it's 3. A over here is 4. I can do 9, 6, okay? 9, 6, what would A be here? Well, it's going to be 2. Uh, 6, 9, what's A going to be? It's going to be 5. Uh, and then, of course, I can have 10, 5, what's A going to be? It's going to be 1. Over here, it's 6, 10, what's A going to be? It's going to be 6. And so now I can go through the plug and play with this, right? And try to eliminate it. Now, if you don't know what I mean by plug and play, what I mean in Kabuk 16 is it's not like Sudoku where you can just eliminate everything and find what one number definitively is. At some point, you get to this thing where you have to enter numbers in there and just carry the process through and see if it works. As far as I know, you know, I've never had it. Um, I mean, what could I do here? There's no way to logically narrow them down to one single number and being in one cage um, so so as far as I know I, I don't think it's possible so you have to plug and play meaning I have a couple possibilities I have to put them in and play it out and see what happens and then eliminate it but by doing this method here right we can go through it a little bit better okay so first off let's go ahead and let's do the eight seven so the the this is eight this is seven this is three Okay, so if this is 873, then what is this row going to be? And what is this row going to be? So 13 minus 7 is 6, okay? And 12 minus 3 is 9. So I got to get the numbers 6 and 9. But without even adding them up now, let's look at, we have all these small numbers left, right? What can I ha have even? So I have to get 6 and 9, right? So I have to get 6 across right here. I have to get 9 down here, okay, and I know that from 12 minus 3, and I know that from uh, 13 minus 7, okay. But what numbers do I have left? I have 1, I have 2, I don't have 3, I'm using it. I have 4, I have 5, I have 6, and then uh, 7, I don't have an 8, I don't have because I used it. So how can I get 6? Well, I can get 6 in multiple ways. I can use... Uh, uh, 4, 2, or 5, 1, okay? But I have a problem. To get 9, I have to use 4, 5, okay? So to get 9, I have to use 4, 5. Now how do I get 6? Well, I can't get 6. And so now I just eliminated 6, 9, or 8, 7, this way. Okay, do you see that? Do you see that, huh? Okay, we're going to have to remember these ABCs because I'm going to keep Unfortunately, I'll put A here, B, C. Okay, so now let's go and let's do the opposite. Now you see what I mean by plug and play? Normally I'd go through and figure it out, but now with this method, we kind of know, right? So I have 7, 8, 4. So now going down again here, which we're going down here a lot, uh, it's 12 minus 4, so I need an 8. And going across over here, it's uh, 13 minus 8, so I need a 5. And what do I have left? I have 1. Two, and I'll make a line here denoting three. I don't have four. I do have five. I do have six. And I don't have seven. Okay, so to get eight, I have multiple possibilities, but to get five, I only have three and two. And then look at that now. Now I can't get eight again because it had to be five, three, or six, two. Okay, so this is eliminated. Isn't this sweet? Okay, much faster than if you were watching me the other day. Okay, so now we're on to 9, 6, and 2. Okay, so we're going to try this. 9, 6, 
and 2. And so going down, I have 13, or 12 minus 2, which is 10. i got to get a 10. And I have, and that's down here. And going across, I have 13 minus 6, which is 7. So these are bigger numbers, okay? But I don't I have 1, I don't have 2, I have 3, I have 4, I have 5, I don't have 6, I have 7, and I have 8, okay? So how can I get 7? Well, to get 7, I only have one possibility, 4 and 3. Now how can I get 10? I can't get 10. So that one is done, just like that. Okay, see, I, I'm loving this method. Absolutely loving this method, okay? So now we have 6, 9. 6, 9, and then right off the bat, I know this is 5. It's beautiful. And so we do the same thing. 12 minus 5 is 7, okay? And uh, that's just down here. And then 13 minus 9 is 4, okay? So now I don't have, I can use 1, 2, 3. I don't have 4. Or no, I, uh, yeah, I can use 4. I do have 4, sorry. Um, 5, 6, 7. And I can't use 7 because it's too big. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Well, how do I get that? I get 3 and 1, and now I can't get 7. So I can't use that one. So 9, 6, 2 is out. Easy peasy. And now we're going to do 6, 9. And see, this is much faster than what I was doing before, where I was doing a pure plug and play, going through and trying to solve it, essentially. So I'm still using a little bit of math here, right? And so now what I have going down is 12 minus 5 is 7. And down here I have uh, thir or sorry, down is 12 minus 5 equals 7, I gotta get. And 13 minus 9 across is 4. Okay, so now I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, no, 7. I can't use that 7. And so I have the same issue. So 3 and 1 is 4, but now I can't get 7. So and I wonder if I would have known that. Is it the same thing? No, because it's slightly smaller. It is because Yes, it is different. So I'm just talking to myself there. Yes, it is different. Okay, so oops, I don't want to do that. Um, okay, so now we got that out. And we're on to our next one. We have 10, uh, 10, 5, 1. Yeah, 10, 5, 1. This should be a 5 also. 10, 5, 1. 10, 5, 1, yes. So this is 10. Uh, this would be 5. This would be 1. And now I can see my 12 minus 1 is 11. And my 13 minus 5 is 8. So those are big numbers. I don't have 1. I have 2. I have 3. I have 4. I don't have 5. I have 6. I have 7. I have 8. And I have 9. Okay. So how do I get 8? Well, the only way I can get 8 is 6 and 2, okay? But uh, how do I get 11? Well, I have 3 and 8 and 7 and 4. So I actually have multiple ones to this, okay? So let's go ahead and let's look at this one. Uh, 13 minus 5 is 8. So we know we have a 6, oops, and a 2 here, a 2 and a 6. And right off the bat, we can look at this one right here and see this row, this one right here, and see what it would be. Well, if it's the 2, it has to be 10, okay? But I've already used the 10, so it can't be a 2. If it's a 6, it has to be 6 because it's 12, and that doesn't work. So this simply doesn't work because the 2 and 6 do not work. Okay, so there we had to go a little bit further, but we were able to still quickly denote that this doesn't work. Okay, because there's only one way to get to 8. That was a 2 and 6. Okay, so that one doesn't work. That was this one. Oops. That was this one. And so now on to the last one, 5, 10, and 1. I have 11 to get, and I have 13 minus 10 is 3. I have 2, I have 3, and we can already stop because how am I going to get 3? I have the 1 up there. I can't get it. It's not possible. This one's done. Okay, so very powerful method. I hope you can appreciate this as much as I do. So what do we know? We know 16 is not in this row at all. We know that for a fact because we've tried every position with it. 
So we know 16 has to be over here. And the next place I'm going to try it, of course, would be over here. 16, 15. Um, and the reason I'm going to try it here is because it would logically make sense because I'm going to use the same table. Now I'm going to tell you that I know the answers here because like I said, I figured it out. When I figured it out though, I guessed. I didn't use the kind of logic I'm using now. However, I would think that if I was logically doing this, I would of course go to this because my table would be exactly the same, meaning that I'm going to still have this ABC table. right? Even though these are slightly different, they're still going to be in the same type of relationship. right? So it's not going to be C equals A plus 4, but it'll be, uh, well, let's go ahead and just get it real quick. 16 plus 30, this is 14. Um, 16 plus 12 is 28. This one's 11. This one's going to go to 12, 15, 11, 26, 12. And 15, 27, this is the 13. Okay. And so now we have A plus B equals 12, and B plus C equals 13. Okay. And so B is equal to 12 minus A, and 12 minus A plus C is equal to 13. And so, uh, uh, how do I want to do this? Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna minus this one. So negative one plus C equals A. Is that correct? <laughs> I think so. So A is equal to C minus 1. Is that right? That doesn't seem right. It doesn't seem right because I'm not using the right numbers. Thank God. <laughs> I got to be careful. I got to be way more careful. Jesus, Reuben. A plus B equals 12. I was just thinking that looks wrong. B plus C equals 14. Okay. B equals 12 minus A plus C equals 14. So let's just go ahead and do it the traditional way. That's 2 uh, minus A. C is equal to 2 minus A, or 2 plus A. So A is equal to C minus 2. So C, whatever uh, C is, a is going to be two less, which makes sense, okay? And so that's what we're going to keep. C is equal to, A is equal to C minus two. We'll get rid of all this, and that makes sense. And it should because that B is shared, and the other one's too bigger because it's two more. So, uh, well, I, you know, I could do A, B and just say C, yeah, I don't know why I have to do it like that. I could just make it a little more straightforward. C is equal to A plus 2. Okay. So if A, now let's look at this. How do I get 12? 6, 6, can't do it. 7, 5, can't do it. What's the problem here? A plus 2, nothing, no problem. 9, 5. Um, but what about 5, 7? We have a problem with this one. 5, 7, that works. The reverse, but then C is 7. That's a problem. 7, 5, 8, 4, 10. Uh, four, eight, six, nine, three, eleven. Can't do it. Three, nine, five. Okay. Two, ten. So this continues with 2, 10, 4, right? Get our 12, 2, 10, 4, yep. And then can I have 10, 2 over here? 10, 2, 12. No, I can't. And I can't have A in that row, so that's gone. Okay, so now with that, we're going to go through these real quick. I'll start off at the bottom, 7, 5, 9, 7, 5, 9. And see, like I said, this is the same math we get to do here, which is why I would logically do this, because it just goes in order. 7, 5, 9. Uh, so again, what's this? This is, we need a 5. What's this? We need a, uh, 
Uh, 13 minus 9 is 4. How do I get 5 and 4? I have 1. I can't use anything bigger than 4, obviously. 2, 3, 4. So I can get these, right? 4 plus 1 and 3 plus 2. They are there. Okay, so I can go in here and I can say this is a 1 and a 4. This is pure plug and what play. This is 4 and 1. This is 3 and 2. This is 2 and 3. Okay. And so with that now, if this is 1, I need 13. This can't be 1 because the uh, 11 is already used, or 12 is already used. In fact, it's used in that row. At 13 minus 4, that's 9. This would have to be 9, but I can't use it because the 9 is there. So we can't use this one. So I did have to plug and play a little further, but still relatively quick. Okay. So we know that one does not work. Okay. So now we're going to do uh, 577 doesn't work. We're going to use 840. 8410. Sorry. 8410. And so now with the 8 row, this is 12 minus 8 is 4. And now with this row, is 13 minus 10 is 3. And that I know I can't get because I only have 1, 2, 3 available. 3 and 1 is 4, but then it leaves nothing else. So that's the easy one to get out. And so 8, 4, 10 is out, but we can do 4, 8, 6. Okay. And 4, 8, 6. Okay. We got this. Um, we're doing our math down. What is down? Well, we have an 8. What is across here? We have a 7. How do we get those? Well, I have 1, I have 2, I have 3, I don't have 4, I have 5, 7. And that's all I can use. 7 can be 5 and 2, and 8 can be 7 and 1. Okay. So for the 7, I have 5 and 2. So I just go ahead. I put a 5, 2 down here and a 2, 5. Right? And then uh, 7 and 1 for the 8. So this is 7, 1, 1, 7. Okay. So if I have a 5 here, I would need a... 7 here, or no, I need an 8 here, which doesn't work. If I have a 2 here, I need 11 here, which doesn't work. So none of these work. And see how quick I get to eliminate that? I, I just like that. Okay, so 395 and 2104 is it. That's a, so it's one of those. Well, sorry. We wouldn't know that yet because you don't know up right hand corner. I do happen to know. Um, sorry. 395. 395. Okay. So three going down, we have a nine. Uh, and five going across, we have an eight. And now I have the one. I have the two. I don't have three. I don't have four. I have a five. Or no, don't have five. I have one, two, four, six, seven, eight. Okay. So how do I get nine? Well, seven, two, eight, one. How do I get eight, seven, one, six, two? So we have some complications here. Six, two, seven, one. So let's go ahead and start with this one. Six, two, two, six. 7117. We don't want to make it too confusing, so let's just see if we can eliminate anything off here. We know we can eliminate the 1 because 13 minus 1 is 12. That's, don't have a 12. 13 minus 2 is 11. Don't have 11. So we can get rid of this 7 is 6. 13 minus 6 is 6. 13 minus 6 is 7. Seems fair. Um, and 13 minus 7 is 6. Also seems fair. So what do we have here? 13 minus, this would be 7. I'm just getting confused with these numbers. 6. Okay. So 6, 7, 1. Or 7, 6, 2. Either way, the 6 and the 7 are always going to be used. So the 7 is out now for the other one. So the other one must be... 
Is the six always out? Yes, the six is always out too. No, no, seven, yeah, seven, six, six, seven, seven, six, six, seven. Six and seven are always out. Okay, so this has to be eight, one, one, eight. Means this one is out, this seven is out, this six is out. Okay? So two, six, seven, okay? If this this is uh, eight, this would have to be three. If this is one, it has to be 10. Both of those are available, right? No, three is not available, okay? Um, oh, which takes the bottom out here. This is eight, 15, four, and then there's our solution. So it just worked out, okay? So let's go ahead, let's write this in very carefully so we don't muck it up at the end. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and add these up. 10, 2, 4, 16, 11 is 27, 15, 20, 12 is 27, 33, 40, 3, 1, 4, 13, 17, 25, 9, 25, 30, 44, 4, 7, 11, 19, 33, 2, 6, 8, 21, 26, 10, 12, 22, 23, 39, 11, 15, 26, 29, 38. And that's it. That's how you do this. This is a great book 16. This is great. I mean, I like this.